Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing a mini Primark haul. Now I actually managed to get to my local Primark the other day and managed to get a few little bits what I needed and to be honest I've been needing these quite a while. So this is not your typical fashion Primark haul, this is just stuff I've been wanting for quite a while and I've been waiting for Primark to reopen. Um, so yeah, if you want to see what I got in today's Primark haul then please keep on watching. So, they gave me this big massive bag and I'm not quite sure why they gave me a massive bag like this because I haven't even got that much to be honest. But a lot of the stuff that I bought today is for my hospital bag, um, just because online prices, um, I mean although I have been paying them, like they've been extortionate, so even just for stuff like, I don't know, pyjamas socks, knickers, like your basic everyday essential clothing sort of things what you need. They've been so expensive so I couldn't wait for Primark to reopen. So one of the first things that I bought, um, this is not going to be to everybody's taste, so this is a button up night shirt. Now I got this in a size small, it's quite long, um, it's literally just a nighty. Um, here it is um, with stars on. The main reason I got this, because I do I do feel like it looks quite like old style, like something like my nan might wear. But um, yeah, this was in a size small and it was five pounds. So really good like bargain. So yeah, it's really nice and cheap. But the reason I got this was because at one, I got it in like a size 10 to 12, which is like Primark small. Um, I got it like that because obviously I have a bump and this is gonna be one of the nighties that I'm taking into hospital with me. So this also has a button up section here on the chest so it would go down here. Now I thought that would be perfect because I am wanting to try breastfeeding. Uh, people did recommend to me to either get like some sort of pyjamas that button up or a nighty that buttons up just so when you are breastfeeding you can keep your clothes on comfortably but just obviously pop one of your boobs out. Um, so yeah that's the reason why I picked up this so this is going to be going straight in my hospital bag. Um, so yeah, for £5, like I saw stuff like this online and it were going for like sometimes nearly £20 and I weren't paying that for something I'm not going to wear that often. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite a cute little one. I Like I said, I like the stars, but it's not for everybody. On to the next item. It is another night shirt. Like I like nighties for bed, especially in summer just because they're so comfortable. And with being pregnant as well, having a bump, obviously a nightie is just so much easier because you don't have anything like stuck to you if that makes sense like I quite like just having everything quite free down there and nothing like tight on my stomach so that's why I've been buying a lot of nighties but this one I also got in what size did I get I also got this in a small so again it would be a 10 to 12 and this was five pounds as well so this time it's just a plain like black background with this lovely like what's it called like celestial celest something like that i don't know it's obviously this sort of pattern it just reminds me of like the stars moons obviously if you've been watching a lot of my videos like i love stars and moons that sort of like vibe if that makes sense um so i just thought this was really cute and it's quite sparkly as well which i thought is another thing that i like um, but yeah, so it's just another night shirt, it's really baggy, it's really comfortable. Um, I've had these before, that's why I know they're comfortable. And again, I will be taking this to the hospital with me, because I'm mainly taking pyjamas, I'm not going to lie. Um, who wants to be uncomfortable after you've given birth? Not me. So yeah, they're the two night shirts that I've bought. So another essential that I have bought is these. These are just five pairs of arch support trainer liners. So basically like some ankle socks, but they have like a ribbed bit here. So I always buy these ones with the ankle support because sometimes my feet do start hurting if I haven't got like really good supportive trainers on. Um, so I just, I always prefer these because they're really tight on your feet as well. So these, these were £2.50 for a pack of five. So just perfect little ankle socks really and the wash really well. Again, with the essential items, this is also gonna be in my hospital bag. Um, I got these, so these I got in a small as well. So usually I would get like an extra small, but obviously 
if you know anything about giving birth then obviously you do have to wear maternity pads afterwards which isn't the most flattering thing to talk about but they are huge so obviously they need to be able to fit comfortably in your pants so I just bought myself a pack of these um, these were just the five pack of mini black briefs usually I'd call these my period pants because I'm not bothered if they get ruined um, but yeah I just grabbed a multi pack to chuck inside my hospital bag um, these were £3 and you get 5 so I thought they were really good little bargain. So moving on, I bought these. So these are just a pair of lilac flip flops. Um, these were 90p, can you believe it? 90p. Like, I forgot actually how cheap Primark were. Like, honest, I got this whole thing for around £23, like, I can't believe it. But yeah, 90 pence for these. Um, these are in a size medium, which is a 5 to 6. I'm a 5 and these fit really well. I've had these in loads of different colours, black, white, blue bride ones like literally I've had loads and they're really comfortable once you like bed them in a little bit now the reason for me getting these in purple was basically my baby shower dress I'll try and insert a picture somewhere actually of what I'm going to be wearing um now this is just a picture of like me trying it on so it's not the most flattering photo but it is purple now I got that from Boohoo but yeah I got these because obviously at my baby shower it's going to be July so it's obviously going to be quite warm my feet have been swelling quite a lot so I thought if I just get myself some comfortable flip flops that'll go with my dress now I'm not saying that I'm going to look like an absolute style icon but um, you know I'm going to be comfortable and at least the match so for 90p if you need some comfortable like shoes then head on down to Primark so yeah got those so on to like toiletries and stuff like that I picked up these so these were 80p these basically are just toothbrush covers now I don't know why but lately I've been really funny about like having my toothbrush out on the side just because I think Oh, I don't know things can touch it things can splash on it and it just really grosses me out so I thought I'm gonna grab a pack of these and just well cover my toothbrush I guess plus I'm gonna use one for my hospital bag just to keep my toothbrush safe while it's inside my bag so nothing like goes on it and stuff I also picked up these face masks so these are actually sheet masks now I've never tried these ones from Primark actually so I could do a review on them if you want me to um, but these were 80p each believe it or not and I think they look really nice for 80p just going off like first visual impressions um, but this one is a hydrating hyaluronic acid sheet mask um, so yeah that one looks really nice if you can see there and the other one that I got was a plumping sheet mask so apparently this has vitamin E and also it's biodegradable so I don't know if that's something that bothers you but yeah so two sheet masks 80p each you cannot go wrong so I also got some baby clothes as well which are slightly bigger sizes so I am going to be doing a bigger size baby haul maybe like three to six plus months video um, so yeah I'm not going to show them in today's video I'm going to save that for that haul so just to run through how much this whole like mini haul came to um, including the baby clothes it was £23.10 so the price comparison of Primark compared to what I have been having to spend online the past few months has been ridiculous. Like sometimes you can't even get one item of clothing for £20 and I've managed to get all this. Um, so yeah, like I said, this wasn't going to be your ultimate fashion icon Primark haul. Um, but it's just like an essential haul what I've needed so yeah I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have then please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and uh, yeah hopefully I will be seeing you all soon on my next video and until then guys see you later